You're listening to Battling Opioids, the podcast. Battling Opioids, the podcast, now on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Podcast, TuneIn, Amazon, YouTube, and now Radio.com. We spoke to Kelly Pierce, Certified Recovery Specialist at New Roots in Luzerne County, and we learned about new ways to cope with addiction. New Roots Recovery Support Center in Luzerne County, when we started thinking about the project and what we were going to do to create a hub of resources for people in recovery in our community, we really noticed how much the arts, painting and uh, drawing and writing and music um, were a part of people's recovery plans. So we actively designed a program that would bring that right to our center. And it was, it was amazing when we started reaching out that immediately people with talents um, stepped up to the plate and said, really, I'd like to do this. I'd like to come in and help with an, an art therapy class or um, I would like to come in and you know play some music and things like that and it really is a beneficial way to teach people um, how to relax how to cope and how to spend their time uh, one of the things we hear especially in early recovery is what do I do with all this time I have on my hands you know I lived a lifestyle before that I was always going and, and running and doing these things that I shouldn't have been doing and now I have time and what am I going to do with this time and really to develop people and to develop good coping skills and things that they enjoy and maybe to explore some things that they've never explored in themselves before and the arts is definitely a great way to do that. So what was your vision uh, for uh, starting the Roots? There was um, a need definitely in, in our community. It seemed that there was a, a gap in services and just you know a, a resource hub for people to come to. And the thing that appealed to myself and my co-founder Sarah was this idea of certified recovery specialists, that people with lived experiences would actually run and operate the center and that they would be able to say to individuals who are coming into recovery, I've been there, I've lived this, I've done that, I understand. And really to base services off of that, that peer relationship. Um, and it's, it's much different uh, dynamic um, between two peers than it is um, between a counselor and a client. So this is kind of an added layer of support. You can have the best inpatient treatment, the best outpatient treatment, a wonderful counselor. And if you add a peer to that palette, it just enhances your chance to make long-term recovery. All right, we have our music meditation on Fridays, which is very holistic for um, healing, for letting go of yourself, for being able to be out of yourself for a little while. Uh, we also have healing through music with Rob on Monday, on Tuesdays, I'm sorry, which is actually an amazing class. Um, it's used by with percussions to let out feelings, to let out your emotions. You end up all coming around in one group. And once again, you're outside of yourself, you're thinking about something else, you're, you're concentrating on the music instead of concentrating on everything that you don't want to concentrate on at that moment. So how do you think this treatment helps over other treatments? When it comes to substance use disorder, being outside of yourself is one of the best ways to help cope. Um, you can be outside of yourself and concentrate on other things, that way you're not constantly thinking and re wishing and having your mind going back to your substances instead of going forward to where you need to be in life. Any other future programs you envision? I do, we're gonna have yoga. We're gonna have three different types of yoga actually. We're gonna have mindful meditation yoga, which is going to be on Sundays. We are gonna have trauma-informed yoga, which is going to be every other Saturday. And then we are gonna have your regular hatha yoga, which is going to be on Thursdays and which all of those are mind, body, and spirit, all ways to combine yourself and to align your spirit, your mind, your soul, so that you could relax and feel good about yourself. Recovery starts with a call. Call 1-800-662-HELP or visit battlingopioids.org. It doesn't take long to become addicted to opioids. 13 Pennsylvanians die from them every day. Geisinger is committed to ending opioid addiction with both prevention and treatment. In the last three years, we've reduced the amount of opioids we prescribe by 50%, and we've opened four medication-assisted treatment centers across the state to help patients recover from addiction. Learn more at geisinger.org slash had enough. <laughs> 